What's going on you guys, Sam Burr here and welcome back to my channel today. Let's do something a little bit different now. There's this new game called New City, which is what we're looking at right now. And I thought I wanted to do just a little bit of a video about it just so just to get it out there. It's not a sponsored video, just let's <laughs> let's be honest about that. N not sponsored. I bought the game. It was in my in my opinion it was a little bit overpriced. It was I think it was like 20 eight Australian dollars so if it's US dollars it's gonna be a little bit cheaper um, but it is still in early access I believe so there's still a lot of work for it to do it's still a little bit buggy but it is a pretty cool game I've been playing it for the last probably three or four hours even and I've kind of grasped the rough concept there's still a lot that I haven't done yet but I thought yeah this is something that a lot of you guys would like so definitely I thought let's make a little video and just show you guys so new city like I said it's still in early access it's literally just called new city um, and I like that it's just very simple looking and there's like a lot of different things that we can talk about of course all of us are going to compare it to city skyline so let's let's try not to compare it to that because it is kind of different I mean obviously there's still similarities but it is still quite different so one thing I've been like I said I've been playing this for the last few hours and I've only just now started to get skyscrapers and even then this is all that I've managed to get so far this one and then if we come over here I've got um, this one here as well so now <laughs> before I get into everything you'll notice up here it says overdrawn um, so like I said I'm new with the game and I accidentally took out a 700 million dollar loan like seriously why did I do that and I don't know I've been trying to let it play out for a while where was it it was somewhere yeah accidentally just took out 700 million dollar loan and I've been repaying it for the last half an hour hope, hoping that it would it'll come back to being um, a positive amount of money so that's why it says overdrawn usually it would say a number so if I go like this you can see how it says up there but we're not taking out a loan at the moment. So 81,000 people, almost 82,000 people. And what I really like about this is that it's really good for all different types of players. So you can actually choose the size of the map. So this map right here, it's called just, it's 75 times 75. It can go down to as small as 10, 10 times 10, or it can go up to 125 times 125. And each map you can generate it how you want. There is no terraforming option yet. But yeah, I just went through with kind of refreshing it and trying out d different maps that it generates and eventually I came to this one because I wanted there to be some kind of peninsula style area. So you do need a lot of farm land, but just like City Skylines, the, op the, the goal of the game is to just build and just to manage everything and just see how far you can go. Um, there's a lot of people can see like there's a huge traffic jam so there's also that concept where you need to manage the traffic you can also put in train lines and things like that um, you might notice there's a bit of fog here that's actually smog from all the cars so it's only just popped up now because like I said there's all these cars here see that <laughs> that building's kind of overlapping on the road so there's a few issues but yes there's smog because we've got a lot of cars on here and if I go into here you can see in the whatever you want to call this the heat map you go along here where all of the traffic is and then you come over here to some of the industrial areas it's going to have smog as well um, but yeah that makes sense in my opinion so but what what's really cool about this is that they have mixed use zoning so if we go down here and look at all the different types of zoning so we have normal one which is residential you can set the height level so if you want to do a suburban area you can set it at level 1 or if you want it to eventually come up to skyscrapers you set it at level 10 so you can do that for all different types so then this one here is the mixed use so you can see down there it says residential slash retail and so I've pretty much zoned everything as a mixed use except for the office spaces and so for example like this here would be a mixed use area so we have some shops at the bottom and then we have the residential on top, same for these ones. And they're all kind of just scattered throughout um, everywhere. They're not really that clear yet, just because it's really low, low density. Um, but I'm hoping it'll all start popping up into high-rise buildings soon because, yeah, I'm waiting. But 
Another cool thing is that if you like zone a whole section as for example retail it might actually take up the whole space and make a mini shopping center like, like it has done here, like it's done over here or even like this here. So that's a really cool concept that it just naturally takes up all that space and it does the same for um, the office spaces as well. So this is our office along here. So originally when you zone it, it's just one little square. I'll just show you guys. So this is how you zone it. You got the different little lots here and after that if it has enough space it might take up all of that space well it most likely will the cars are a little bit buggy um and then if we come over here i think this one is technically offices i don't think that's residential anyway we come over here and we have the industrial space so again i zoned it as the little zoning spaces and then it's taken up all this space which is really cool, which is, it makes it look interesting because it actually, it's not like just the same sizes, you know what I mean? It kind of branches out into all different shapes. So this one's kind of like long, this one's squarish. Um, you got little tanks that pop up in there. So that's really cool. You come in here, you got all the different types of farmlands as well. So again, you just zone the little, so you zone it like this. So you can see it goes like that and then it just pops up with all these different shapes, which is really cool. You got the the different crops, you got the seed things, I mean, the watering things, different trees, you got little houses in there as well, which is cool. Cause like when you have a, when you have a farmland, obviously the farmer's gonna live there as well. So it's really cool. Trees, you can't change the trees at the moment. I assume you will be able to in the future, but trees, you can't place any more down. You can't change it. They're just there and that's that. So in terms of the roads, there's not too many roads at the moment. So if we just go over here, I'll show you guys. So we have, we have this one here, which is obviously a boulevard, has three lanes on either side. I like using that one, they really zoom along. Um, you also have this smaller suburban one here, which is great for just doing the suburban quiet areas. And then we also have this four lane one right here. If I can pull it down, there we go. And then it's a little bit, it's like, I forget what it's called, like poly, poly style graphics, I suppose, but I quite like that. You can also make highways as well. So if you go into here, you have, um, like you can, you can draw it all out, whichever way you want. You can't really do curves. It's more of a grid style. You can do diagonal roads, which is good. Um, and then you come in here, you also, you can do bigger style highways whatever you like, it's all there. And then you can actually do buses. You can set the prices of course for those, which is pretty handy. I haven't done any transport yet because it's still all new to me. You can also do trains, I believe. Yes. Again, haven't done that yet. So that's like the double train. Oh, I have no money to place anything down, but you can do smaller ones or one way train lines. And then I'm pretty sure just for the station, you drag it out as well. So that's probably a station. So that'll be interesting to see how all that looks. So it's probably time to do something about this, but I'm not going to change anything. I just really wanted to show you guys this whole game because um, it is it is still new, and but a lot of you guys would like to have a, this type of game. Um, one thing that does annoy me about it is that you can't choose to have everything unlocked. Uh, you can choose to have unlimited money, but I, you can't do that once you're in here. There's no mods at the moment. So if I just show you guys, like I said, there's still a lot of things that aren't unlocked yet. So for example, you have the university campus. That's one thing that you can unlock once you get to certain milestones. Um, what else is there? If we go down here and show you guys. So you have the library, which looks like this one right here, so pretty standard looking library. You have one type of school, which I mean, we need the elementary and we need the high school. You have the art museum, which is quite big. Haven't put that one in yet, but that's that's a good one. Like it's a nice big shape. We have the technical college. So I'm not sure how different these two, this college is compared to this campus here as well. Um, you have different recreational areas. Again, there's still more to unlock, so I just have the small park, ball park, and public pool. I think I put the pool over here somewhere. I think that could be it. Is it? Well, there's the park. The pool. This could be the... Is that the pool? 
public pool. No, it's really small. I don't know. It's over in here somewhere. Not sure. Um, and then you have this one here. So you have stuff for the community. Community. You have the clinic, police station. That's all I've unlocked so far. Again, there's going to be more. And this one is all about the university. Um, there are other ones that you can choose from, but you can't select them again once you've already put them down. So, like there was the um, the engineering sector, the education sector, technology sector, all of those things. So, but that's all I have unlocked at the moment. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game, and considering I've only been playing, well, I did build another city, but then there was something, there was an issue with the save, it corrupted or something, so I built this one, like, in the last, probably, hour and a half, and, like, that's a pretty decent size, just for, like, an hour and a half's worth of play, so, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know, it's pretty cool, um, when one thing another thing about the roads is that when you place down the ordinary road like this one here once you get more wealthier areas they will upgrade like this to having the proper sidewalks because i don't really like when you place them down it kind of looks odd like there's no there's no uh driveway connecting to the road there's no pathways no sidewalk so once you have these ones it's a it makes a little bit more sense because like they those areas connect so and like those ones are still in there as well the streets are named if that's um, something that you guys are interested in. And just to finish up, I'll show you guys the, the heat maps again. So, pollution, of course, we have pollution along the main road. So you hold this little thing over the different areas. So you can see out here, there's no pollution. Come over here, the blocks build up, so there is pollution there. Um, crime, again, no crime here. Some crime out over here, because there's no police station. Education. Education is good over here for some reason. It's really good. What's over here? Not sure why that's really good there. I don't know. That's strange. Prosperity again. So that's showing the, the wealth of the area. So obviously out here. Not going to be much wealth. Then you come over here. It's going to be a lot higher. Same for value. Oops. There we go. So I think along these shorelines, the value is going to be naturally higher, like in City Skylines, which is pretty pretty useful. Like I, that's why I chose this area because it's a it's a bay. So naturally, we're gonna be able to have fancier buildings. It also shows the density types as well. So out here is re is lower areas than in here. It's starting to get a little bit more dense, and it shows the areas that are most likely going to be skyscrapers in the near future which i like it's a nice little concept to have it's a nice little thing to be able to see community so it's showing the friendliness of the community so these areas where's the legend gone there is a legend there so you can see that nice purple color shows it's a quite inviting area whereas out here maybe not so welcoming maybe a little bit scary i don't know Oh, new amenity, big park. We'll have a look at that before we finish up. Again, health, showing everything. So not really good health in there. Health over here is pretty good. Traffic, so you can see the... Um, the so it looks like the whiter it gets, the worse it is. So of course, that's the only main road going through there. And of course, that one's going to be busy. No public transport zones. So this bluey color is the mixed use. So I've put that in most areas. Um, and then road map, not too much to look at there. And then what was that thing that just came in? There was a big park. It doesn't look very big. We can't place it, but okay. Well, it looks all right. <laughs> oh, look, we've actually made money now. Thank God, because I was getting sick of waiting. That's good. So we're, we're making money now. We've paid off our $700 million debt, which was really annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. So go check it out. It's on the Steam Workshop. It's not too expensive and it is in early access. Like there's a lot of potential for this game, um, but I really just want to have skyscrapers already. Like, I, come on, like I've been waiting, I've been waiting a while now. So we've got like, it's quite compact, compact, which I do like, and I do like all the farm areas, but yeah, I'm ready for some skyscrapers. So. I hope that they make it a little bit easier to make skyscrapers because like I've been waiting so long um, and I hope that they add in some more roads but definitely it's a good little game so let me know down below if any of you guys have got it already I think it's it has been out for a little while but I think they just had like an a, 
like an official kind of early really release just recently that's why i kind of took notice of it but anyway let's leave it there like i said let me know down below what you guys think don't compare it to city skylines because it's completely different in terms of, of like the graphics and what you can do but anyway let's leave it there and i'll catch you guys next time